Hi, this is Samira from Pilgrim's Progress. I just wanted to show you some more uh, fall transitional outfits to kind of inspire you for your own transition into fall. I know it's probably still hot in most places, but it's definitely cooling down. Um, so I'm gonna show you today just how I work with some basic pieces to get some great uh, fail-safe fall outfits. But I wanted to show you some of the basics that I got from the thrift store recently that have really helped me with my fall wardrobe and just my fall outfits, thinking through what I wanna wear for fall, what how I want things to come together. Um, so I'm definitely learning how to thrift in a different way. I love the thrift store. For me, like spending three or four hours in a thrift store is like my idea of a good time. But what I noticed was that um, I tend to thrift in a more editorial way. So meaning like I'll get like the standout piece, you know, I'd be like, oh, this is really awesome because it's from the 50s and look at this fabric and whatever. But then I don't really get that much wear out of it. It's more just like, wow, this piece is really awesome. So what I'm trying to do is learn to thrift in a way that's more according to a list that I have, according to filling needs in my closet. Because um, I still want the, I still want the fun and the practicality of thrifting things things where you can get unique things that would cost you a lot of money to get something similar new um, and have that little bit of like interest in your wardrobe so I hope that this inspires you and I hope it's uh, hope it's helpful uh, all right but yeah I got this sweater which is a cardigan and I'm just wearing it as a shirt um, and then these are the LL Bean jeans the classic men's LL Bean jeans um, I have them in a 30 by 29 I think um, and then this is something that I've been really wanting um, I hope you can see it on there. But it's basically just like a little like square heeled, like two inch heel classic kind of pump where it's in between like a flat and a heel, uh, but just like a walkable kind of pump <clears throat> to give it a little like 70s career lady vibe, um, but be a little polished, a little polished but a little like offbeat at the same time. So I found those at the thrift store yesterday and I was really very excited. So. So this is also just a good kind of basic and very classic look. Um, I like this um, this little boxy jacket. Um, it kind of it really is not similar to a Chanel jacket at all, but it's kind of like it gives me that vibe of like it's just like a little jacket. It's no big deal, but it it adds a little bit of polish. Um, and I like to have it in a pattern. This one I don't know how well you can see it. It's got a little like red. Um, small plaid and I, I like that that has like a little bit of something going on there. Awesome. And this is the other classic knit that I got at the thrift store. Um, so also this bag which is just like a small canvas bag with leather handles um, which I love it. I just love the stripe. It's a little bit fun. And I think a canvas bag is just really classic. There's like the classic uh, L.O. Bean totes, you know, the tote and boat things and I have an Etsy version of that that's really giant. And then I like that this is like a smaller version so that I don't carry around like 10 books, three Bibles, and <laughs> you know, six notebooks. So, um, so yeah, so this is also just like a very classic knit. It's just like a classic turtleneck. But I think with those three, um, I'm really kind of set for fall. Having like a, a cardigan, a simple sweater, and a turtleneck. And so for me, what I noticed, I didn't even do it on purpose, was that I got them in three different neutrals and they're all ribbed. So I think I've talked before about texture and just matching kind of like what's going on with you physically to your clothes. So again, I have very textured hair and actually even my skin is textured because I have freckles and stuff. So I like um, fabrics that have a bit of texture to them. I don't know if you can really see it, but this is ribbed. And so that is kind of gonna match with me. That's probably why I like canvas too. It's like a rougher, more textured fabric. So that also kind of goes with me. And then denim obviously has texture to it. And then these shoes are like a thicker leather, so they have a little more presence to them as well. Um, so yeah, so these are kind of like my fall basics that I'm looking forward to wearing this fall that are just, just super simple classics that I should be able to wear going forward. Um, let me show you the same look with a couple different jackets to show you how you can kind of dress it up or dress so it this down. This is I just am wearing it with like a black silk theory blazer that I have. Um, and that I think is like pretty polished for fall. You could go to like, you know, any kind of like casual but polished meeting, interaction um, kind of thing. So if I was still teaching, this is something I would teach in. Uh, but this is definitely something that I would go meet friends in, that I would um, meet up with people for a Bible study. I would go pretty much anywhere in this. 
And if it had to be dressier, I would just change the jeans for something else. So, and then I'll show you how I dress it down too. I just got this jacket and I'm really, really, really excited about it. I got it from eBay. I have a thing for leather jackets, so I have had <laughs> many in the past because I'm always searching for the perfect one. Um, and I really like this one. We'll see if it turns out to be the perfect jacket. But what I like about it is that it's very cropped um, because uh, I'm short-waisted, so it fits the contours of my body and shows my waist still. Um, which I don't mind if my waist doesn't show, but it needs to be a certain length so it doesn't hit right at the hip. But, you know, it's just tricky. But I like this length and I like the uh, leather is like really thick. And it has like all the kind of classic details, but it doesn't seem like too butch. <laughs> so, I don't know, I'm really excited about this. Um, let me know if you have like, if you like leather jackets and if so, how do you like yours to fit and what are your good resources for them? This one I got from eBay. Um, it's by a brand called Workshop, which I'm not really familiar with, but I just liked, I did the measurements and I just liked the way that it looked. So yeah, I've been really um, loving the, uh, the Realization Par kind of moment that's going on with the um, silk um, slip skirts um, and slip dresses. Um, so that's something that I'm trying to kind of have fun with in a way that I feel like is appropriate for my life. Um, so this is the first thing that I got that was kind of me wanting to have that moment. Um, and it is a dress. It's like a very 90s dress. It's got like the beading and like all of that. So it's like a 90s rayon dress with a little bit of like a ruffle flounce going on. But I really like the um, pale yellow color and I just like the flow of it. I like the length, the mid length, and it's just very like pretty and feminine and easy at the same time. Um, so I'm wearing it with this uh, kind of ivory or cream colored Brooks Brothers um, cotton sweater that I just got at the thrift store. And uh, I really like this as like an easy fall and fall transitional piece. I think this is gonna be a really good basic with jeans or over dresses like this. And then I got a little 90s boot as well um, from the thrift store that I was excited about. So it's a little square toed 90s boot. Um, so this is a dress that um, I got from Target. It's a slip dress. It's really cute. Um, and I think it's like 22, 23 bucks. Um, this is like a linen top, so it's nice and breezy. And this is um, just a really easy slip dress. Um, I got the slip skirt, the black slip skirt for winter. I'm really excited about that and I actually bought this because I like that so much but it feels too heavy for right now so I got this as kind of like the transitional thing. Bye. And finally uh, this is the other most recent thing that I got from the thrift store and I just love this kind of thing. It's like the art teacher in me you know <laughs> like the art lady and um, it's just like a big giant seafoam colored linen I think maybe um, giant oversized top. And it's perfect because I really, um, I have this little slip dress from Target, which I really love, but I don't feel comfortable wearing it on its own. So I think that's a good combination, um, is to kind of put it together with something that's oversized. So it's still feminine and it's just very like easy and loose. And for me, this is kind of the best way to do like, it's still hot, I'm excited for fall, I'm layering, but it's still very summery. So yeah. I hope that gives you guys a little inspiration. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.